ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! There's danger on the trail ahead! Oh, Silver! Away! Bright moonlight flooded Jericho, an ancient town of the southwest that had been built by the Spaniards many years ago. Jericho was completely surrounded by a high adobe wall which time and untold coats of whitewash had bleached to a whiteness that almost rivaled the moon. And now through the winding streets of the old town, it was light enough to make out a sign painted on the window across the street in a one-story building. Joshua Boggs, General Merchandise. And directly across the street, another sign was lettered more modestly. It read, Wulong, Hand Laundry. Suddenly, the deserted streets of Jericho echoed with the hoofbeats of many horses. There were wild shouts and the thunder of gunfire. <laughs> must have awakened many of the citizens of Jericho, but only two of them were curious enough to investigate. Joshua Boggs leaped from the bed in the rear of his general store and hurried to the street. He was an odd figure standing there in the night, his cotton flannel nightshirt whipping about his bony knees with indignation written in every line of his face. Hey, what in tarnation's going on? Uh, yelling, shooting, by Juniper, I'm going to... Oh, hello there, Wulong. Wake you up, too. Who could sleep amid such din? Yes, you're right. Those men, where they go? Other end of town, I reckon, up near the new jailhouse. But it wasn't Sheriff nor any of his men I observed closely. Of course it wasn't. Them wild riding hyenas are part of Buck Savage's gang. Buck Savage? Is he not outlaw leader who has been jailed by our sheriff? Supposed to be jailed. There's something mighty strange going on here in Jericho. Savages in jail, how come his gang of cutthroats ride in and out of here whenever they please? I ask myself same question. Bill Cartwright is a mayor of this town, and the sheriff too, but it's the people that elected him. Quite true. Ain't we got a right to know what's going on in our own town? It is written that the elective officials are servants of people. You're doggone right. Tomorrow morning, Wulong, you and me are going down to Cartwright's office and find out a few things. I shall be honored to accompany you. Oh, uh, by the way... A big wooden box came in on the stage yesterday. It's from Frisco, addressed to you. Box? Oh, yes. I've been expecting it. It contains many things by uh, employment of which I shall honor the advent of New Year. Chinese New Year, huh? Well, I guess your calendar's a little bit different than ours. 
My people have recorded time for thousands of years. Here in the West, it is measured in the uh, decades. Yeah? Well, I guess it all adds up to the same thing anyway. See you in the morning, Wulong. We'll have a talk with Bill Cartwright. So, good night, Joshua. Hey, good night, Wulong. <laughs> Joshua Boggs went back to his bed at the rear of his general store. And the little Chinese laundryman, Wu Long, returned to his cot at the little laundry across the street. A strange friendship had grown between these two men from different worlds, and each one knew and trusted the other implicitly. This friendship was founded in the beginning by a mutual dislike for Buck Savage, a man rumored to be an outlaw, but who freely entered and left the walls of Jericho for lack of proof of his misdealings. And it was Buck Savage who early the next morning entered the door of Sheriff Cartwright's office. Good morning, Sheriff. Or should I say, Your Honor, Mayor Cartwright. Whatever you say won't help the situation any. Well, what's eating you? Hey, look here, Buck, this can't go on. Why can't it? You said that all you and your gang wanted to do was hole up here in town for a few days. Well? Well, you've been here two weeks. And instead of 15 men using my jail for a hideout, there must be 50 down there. Got any objections, Sheriff? Yes, I have. You can't now, wait go... a minute. You're dealing with Buck Savage, not one of your ten-star deputies. What I tell when you... When me but... and the boys drifted into this burg two weeks ago, I made a deal with you. Ain't that right? Yeah. I put 5,000 in gold on the line. Now all I asked you to do was arrest all of us. It's a sense of having a nice new jail here in Jericho if you don't use it. It was my mistake. I know that now. I was loco enough to sell out to an outlaw. I put you all under arrest. Why? So you could use the town as headquarters. Do all your robbing and stealing for miles around. And then come back here to hide out in jail. You know that the law of many other county can't touch you as long as you're technically under arrest here. <laughs> Are you just getting wise to the idea, Sheriff? I didn't realize what a fool I've been until you started bringing in more men. Every hombre that's on the prod must be here in Jericho. Not all of them, Sheriff. I'm just rounding up a few of the best. Some more of them rode in last night. Must have woke up the whole town. <laughs> yeah, that was Speck Thomas, Cassidy, and some boys from over Texas Way. I guess they had a few drinks. Huh? Thomas, Cassidy, <laughs> two of the worst criminals in the Southwest. Why... Well, if this keeps up, pretty soon you'll have so many gunslingers in here, you'll, you'll take over the town. That's right. But not pretty soon. It's already happened. What do you mean? From here on out, you're taking orders from me. You can still tote that tin badge and pretend you're the sheriff. I won't do it. I'll form a posse. I'll get every honest citizen in Jericho. Maybe the to... honest citizens wouldn't cotton to the idea of their sheriff taking bribes. I don't care what happens to me. I'll show Wanna them... Want to argue with half a hundred of the best guns in the country? If that's the only way to save the town, I'll... Sit down! Now you listen to me, Cartwright. I... Oh, excuse me, Sheriff. I didn't know you... What had... do you want, Jim? A couple of gents outside want to see you. Who are they? Joshua Boggs and Wu Long, Chinaman. Well, you tell them I'm busy. Wait! Like... Uh, of course the Sheriff will see the gents. Tell them to come on in. All right. What did I tell you, Buck? I don't know what these Jaspers want. But be sure you talk straight. Mighty handy with his shooting iron, Sheriff. Right in there. Morning, Sheriff. Oh, hello, Joshua. You know Wu Long? Uh, sure, sure. I am honored. This is uh, Buck Savage. Hi, gents. I thought I recognized the varmint. Ain't he supposed to be in jail? I, uh, I brought Buck over here to the office to uh, ask him some questions. Good idea. Want to ask a few myself. What's on your mind, Joshua? Same thing as on the mind of every other law-abiding man in this town. What's the idea of letting sidewinders like Buck Savage and the skunks run loose? Uh, I don't know what you mean. Yes, you do. Jericho's running over with gunslingers. The scum of the country rides in and out of here like they own the town. Do they? You must be loco, Joshua. I arrested Savage and some men who were with him about two weeks ago, but How about I... the crew that rode in last night? Uh, last night? Well, I don't know You're what you... You're lying, Bill Cartwright. I've known you for 20 years, and I've never seen you as nervous as you are right at this minute. Maybe I can explain the situation to you and the gent with the pigtail. Maybe. You see, Sheriff Cartwright here ain't feeling so well. 
He decided to take a long rest, and he's appointed me his chief deputy. You? No, Joshua, that's not true. I made a mistake. It's my Shut fault. Shut up. You're right. The town is full of scum. They've taken it all. Not... Mr. Cartwright, he's a... Murdered. Shut down in cold blood. And I've got to... up, both of you. Speck. Yeah? The payoff came up a little sooner than I expected. Cover these two hombres and march them down to the jail. Tell all the boys to come up here. I want to talk to everybody. Sure, Buck. All right, gents. Get moving. Hey, you dirty murdering pool cats. I'd like to tell Don't you apart. talk. Move. Perhaps at this time, Joshua, discretion is better part of valor. Move. Joshua Boggs and little Chinaman Wu Long moved slowly out of the door and through the outer office of the small building that housed the headquarters of Jericho's mayor and sheriff. Behind them was the outlaw Speck with a drawn gun in his hand. Once outside on the porch, Speck ordered his captives to halt while he looked slowly up and down the main street. Seeing that apparently no one had heard the shot, he spoke to his prisoners again. Yeah, you can put your hands down now. No need to let the rest of the natives know what's going on. But remember, I'm right behind you. You make any funny moves and I'll send both of you hopping for a harp. You understand? Your meaning very clear. Uh, keep walking. Who long? I'm packing a gun in a shoulder holster. If there was some way it to... It is. In a few moments, we shall pass livery stable. Interior very dark. If we move rapidly... Yes. You make the play. I'll draw it down on this bush behind us. Stop gabbing, you two. No! Uh, you? It's some lead, you coyote! Here, over here! Uh, I think I nailed him. Good! There'll be 50 of these hyenas on our heels unless we get out of here. Is there a horse here that we can use? No, stable empty, except for one mule. Uh, that ain't my idea of good riding, but it's our only chance. Come on. We'll ride the critter devil. <laughs> Steady there. You can ride, can't you, Wulong? Necessity is mother of all things. Yeah, bend low and hang on. We'll take the back door out of here and head for the south gate out of town. Get up there. Get up. The Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Dan Reed guided their horses carefully along a narrow trail not far from Jericho. Suddenly, the masked man called a halt. Oh, oh, oh. Tonto, see that cloud of dust up ahead? Ah, can you make it out? Oh, that plenty far away. May not tell just yet. Mm, there are two clouds of dust, see? The one in front is smaller. Yes, than... you're right, Dan. Oh, me see now. First cloud, one horse. Second cloud, many horse. And they're all headed this way. There's no cutoff on this trail. Hey, look. There's two men on the horse out in front. One of them's wearing a long cap or something. Yes, it's a... Why, he's Chinese. What looks like a long cap is his cue, his pigtail. Oh, golly. Them ride plenty fast. Maybe them crook on other horse, posse. Oh, hey, maybe they're heading straight for us. Hadn't we better... Pull over. We let them pass. All right, Silver. Easy, oh, Scott. Easy. Easy. Hey, look. Two men riding Dublin. Hey, the first one's got a gun. Watch out. He thinks we're going to stop him. And he's going to shoot his way through. Whoa, boys, eh? Huh? One of these is wearing a mask. Nobody's going to stop you this side of the United States Marshal's office. We're not outlaws. Elevate your hands, stranger, and climb off that stallion. This is where we trade a mule for a horse. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. Joshua Boggs leveled his gun and demanded that the Lone Ranger dismount. Hurry up! Get off that stallion. We need him. So do I. They ain't gonna argue with an antler. Get off right now. Have... Move faster than the Lord. Oh, my arm! You're not sure. hurt. I just knocked your gun away. Never before have I seen such marksmanship. Look, the other men, they're almost here. You said you were riding to find a United States Marshal. Why? Uh, what difference does it make? You and Buck Savage have got us in the middle. Buck Savage? Is he the one who's behind you? Maybe not personally, but it's some of his gunnies. Oolong and me just shot away out of a They're trap. They're almost here. Hurry, follow me. There's a ravine where we can double back. Come on, Silver. Say, who are you anyway? You better move, mister, if you're dodging that bunch coming down a trail. All right, Victor. Get him up, Scott. Oh, I don't understand why. Emergency. Where... Ashen precedes word. Get out of here. Where'd they go? They were here just a minute ago. That mule are riding nearly winded. They can't go far. We'll keep on the trail. Line out, boys. Hey, 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 hey. Dan. Yes? Can you see? Are they still there? No, they've headed east. All of them. Good. Uh, it won't take them long to find out we've doubled back. And they'll do the same thing. By that time, we won't be here. We won't be... Say, stranger, do you mind telling me who you are? I think it's more important that you tell me about Buck Savage. Sure, I will. Uh, first, we'll head for our camp. It'll be safer there. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Get up, Victor. Uh, I still can't figure this out, but get up there. Get up. A short time later, the riders arrived at the Lone Ranger's camp. After they'd fed and watered their horses, Joshua Boggs told everything that had happened in the town of Jericho. See, I've been kind of suspicious for a long time about all them hombres hanging around town. But it wasn't until last night that Wu Long and I decided to do something about it. Savage murdered the sheriff. With my own eyes. He did right too long. I too uh, witness a killing. That's enough evidence to hang Savage in any court. Sure. But how are we going to round up a posse big enough to take Jericho? You say there's a adobe wall all around the town? Nine feet high and about half that thick. If that's the case, and there are at least 50 expert gunmen behind that wall, it'll take more than a posse to get into Jericho. Gee, that'd be a big job even for an army. Yes, you're right, Dan. Yes, I guess it is kind of hopeless. Sure hate to lose all the stock in my store. I'll bet them vomits have already cleaned me out. How about you, Long? Will you lose anything? My simple possessions are no importance. I regret but one thing. Oh, what's that? Only yesterday, box arrived by sage from my relatives in San Francisco. Two days hence, I plan to celebrate the beginning of New Year. Now it will be impossible. Why is that? Because the box contains the festive firecrackers that herald New Year. I see. If only we had a detachment of the United States Cavalry, we now might... Now, wait. Oolong, where is this box you spoke about? In Joshua's store in Jericho. Is it not true, Joshua? Huh? Oh, sure. At least it was there when I left this morning. Why? Joshua. In the walled city called Jericho. What are you talking about? Happened once before, and it could happen again. There was some way to celebrate Wu Long's New Year at the same time. I guess I don't savvy. It's just an idea, Joshua. But it's worth trying, Dan. Yes? Saddle Victor and Scout as quickly as you can. Sure, right away. Otto. Uh-huh. I want you to undertake a dangerous trip. It'll be doubly dangerous because I want Dan to go with you. Dan, plenty smart. You not worry. Now listen carefully. Here's what I want you and Dan to do. Beefing about it, Buck. He gave us a slip, that's all. An old man and a Chinaman gave you the slip. He must have cut back someplace where we couldn't see him. I don't see how they did it with both of them riding that mule. That old coot Joshua will head for a United States Marshal and tell him about Sheriff Cartwright's accident. We've got over 60 men inside these walls, Buck. It'd take a lot of lawmen to blow us loose. Uh, lawmen don't bother me. We can stand off a posse of 500 if we have to. And why worry? If we're here, the United States Army. The nearest army post is 300 miles away. Take them a week to get here. Well, we move on before that happens. Did you rustle up all the food there is in town? Got it all stored in wagons, ready to roll. 
people are screaming. Lucky thing for us, there ain't one of them telegraph stations in town. Yeah, let them scream. How about the store this Joshua Boggs was running? Me and the boys will take it apart tonight. <laughs> and as for the Chinaman's yeah, law... Wait a minute. Look out there. Yeah. Right across the street in front of the cafe. What about it? See that engine and the kid walking with him? Yeah. Who are they? Ever seen before? How should I know? There's lots of people in this town that They've I know. Got most of the natives spotted. Those two are strangers. Ah, that's nothing to worry about, Buck. Them redskin and the kid can't Find do... Find out who they are and what they're doing here. Sure, I will, but... Right I... now, before they get out of sight. All right, Buck. Anything you say? Yeah, we can't do anything till after dark, Tonto. Oh, you got key to Joshua's store? Yep, right here in my pocket. And yeah. I'll have to... Watch Dan. You two hombres live here in town? Oh, me not savvy. You know where you live, don't you? Well, we just rode in about an hour ago. What are you doing here? Nothing. We wanted to buy some supplies, but all the stores in town are closed. And they're going to stay closed. We don't cotton to strangers in this town. You'd better move on. Vamoose. What him say? He says we have to get out of town. Oh, 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 well, we go. That's it. Don't come back. The boss don't like your looks. Yeah, there. That must be the box, Toto. There was a hammer someplace to run. Ah, here it is. Here, I'll pry the box open. There. there. Now, have you got the saddlebags, Tonto? Uh, you got it. Hold them open. I'll dump all the stuff inside. Uh, Gee, I haven't seen any of these things since... Man, somebody come. We get out quick. We carry saddlebags. Wait, Tonto. There's some more we ought to take. No, you come. One of you, Armory, strike a light. Somebody in here. They've gone out the back door. After him. Outside, some of you. Nail those critters. Otto, you did a good job, Dan. Oolong says you brought all the firecrackers. I'm sure of it. If there were anything left in the box, it is nothing but paper streamers. Good. I still can't figure this whole thing out. There are many more things to do, Joshua, before we have even a chance of success. And what's next? Nothing more tonight, Dan. Tomorrow I'll visit a minor friend of mine who lives near here. I hope he has plenty of blasting powder and cans to carry it in. Well, how are we going to use that? Remember when Tonto showed you how the Indians sometimes bend back young trees, use them as catapults? Yeah, sure. Tomorrow you and Tonto will go to that wooded slope back of the town and tie down 20 or 30 trees. We'll use them to throw cans of blasting powder. Golly. Wulong. Yes? You and Joshua will arrange your New Year's celebration near the walls of Jericho tomorrow night. Make sure the fuses are long enough. It shall be done. Say, when are you going to take time out to tell me what you're doing? That won't be necessary, Joshua, because we'll all be doing it together. <laughs> Two days had passed since Buck Savage had assumed command of the town of Jericho. Now, within a few hours, he and his outlaw gang were prepared to move out, taking with them everything of value that the town and its people possessed. As the hour for their departure drew near, Buck Savage nervously paced the floor of Sheriff Cartwright's office. Uh, Well, what do you want? Nothing, Buck. Just wanted to tell you that all the wagons are loaded. The boys are ready to ride. Moonrise yet? Not yet. It's black and a hunk of coal outside. Yeah, we'd have to wait for the moon. We need light to get those wagons onto the road. Yeah. What's the matter, Buck? You act kind of nervous. No, I'm not. Listen. What's that? I don't know. Open the door. I don't see Listen. It. Well, I'll be... Sounds like a lot of horses riding around outside the walls. Like cavalry or something. Shut up. Are all the gates locked? Tight in a tick. Well, the biggest... Hey! Buck! That ain't no gun of rifles. It's artillery. Call every man. 
Tell them to get to the walls and start shooting. They've heard those guns. Are get open. out of here. Do what I say. Sure, sure. Boys, boys, get in the walls. Get in the walls. True to its historical precedent, the siege and storming of Jericho didn't last very long. Within less than 30 minutes, its defenders were demoralized and shaken. There was no question about it in the minds of the outlaws. How could but 60 men armed with only guns and rifles combat the vast force of what was evidently an army? Finally, the gates were thrown open, and Buck Savage himself cried out for surrender. That's enough for licks. Don't shoot anymore. Hold it, men. Tell your men to file past here and throw down their guns and rifles. You heard what he said, boys. It's no use beefing. This is the army talking. They did as they were told. Sixty-odd outlaws filed past the designated spot and dropped their guns, rifles, and ammunition. Then the Lone Ranger dismounted and walked toward Buck Savage. What? You're wearing a mask. I didn't know that army officers There are various were... kinds of armies, Buck. All right, Joshua, Oolong. Joshua and the Chinamen. These men, the other two you see mounted over there, make up my army, Buck. You mean there was only five of you? Only five. Why, you... I wouldn't try it if I were you, Buck. Joshua. Yep. I'm sure you can count on the help of the honest men here in Jericho to keep these men in jail until the marshal arrives. We'll keep them in hand, all right. Good. Here, Silver. And Wulong. My friends and I enjoyed helping you celebrate the Chinese New Year. Steady, big fella. I, I have been honored as no man has been honored before me. I shall remember this day forever, always. Adios. Come on, Silver. Uh, you know, Wulong, I can't figure out how he ever happened to think of this scheme. He didn't think of it, Joshua. Credit for that belonged to history and to your illustrious parents. You mean my poor and Ma? It was they who named you Joshua and brought you to Jericho. <laughs> just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>